hello everyone and welcome to i am ms excel expert tutorial series today is day 32 and today we'll be working on how to save a set of data into an array okay so let's start so again we have one exercise over here so if you see i only have a, a table over here where we have the sale number first name last name math score science score english and hindi score um, of these students um, in, into this table and uh, I have already given a name to this table. So if I select the complete table over here, you can see the name over here comes up as final table, right? Okay, let me increase the size. I hope now you can see. So you can see here we have the final table name, right? Okay, so what we are going to do today is uh, I'm going to store this set of data into an array and I'm going to paste this set of data into an output over here right so let's start um, I know that the easy way to do it is actually just copy it let's say copy over here and then go back to output tab and say paste that is always there uh, but how we can do it using a you know uh, storing this data into uh, into an array and then do it so obviously we can actually create a copy and paste uh, command using uh, VBA but uh, Today we'll be working on a different uh, approach here, so which will actually save this data in, a, in an array and then uh, paste the data into output. So let's start. I'll create a button over here and then we'll start. So for example, uh, I'll record a new one. So let me start. So before we start, let me save uh, this particular, uh, uh, create a specific, you know, um, uh, a variant where I can actually save this particular range so let me say let's say I'll create ARR as variant where uh, you know ARR is uh, active workbook dear dot worksheet and I'm talking about exercise and I'm actually going to select this particular range the range is uh, final table and that's it right so what I'm doing is I'm actually calling this particular range as an array right the next step here would be uh, uh, so I know this table is actually stored into this particular variant now I should know the uh, number of columns and number of rows into it so I'll just say let's say I would be upper bound of uh, this particular array with one so that will talk about the rows and array this will talk about uh, like j equals to upper bound array 2 we'll talk about the columns the highest number of column we have so for example this particular i should give me uh, like we have here uh, 16 uh, rows so it should give me 16 number and j would give me number of columns are 7 so it should give me seven so now i'm going to create another uh, variant let's say new array as a variant where i'm going to store it right so let me say for each m one two i oh, sorry one two i for further n one two j so what I'm trying to do here is like I'm actually calculating, actually storing the uh, rows here and in the second line I'm planning to actually store uh, the uh, <coughs> uh, the actually columns. So the way we are, I'm going to do it is like new array uh, for m n. I'm going to do array m n. So and Now what is going to happen now is so for each cell over here so you can see like one, one like serial number first name last name so all these data they have like for example if I just go to Aman so it has a cell number of three and three right so the reason why I'm saying so because this like if you calculate b1 is the first column uh, sorry uh, b1 is the first row b2 is the second and b3 is the third row right 
and if you actually calculate the uh, uh, like uh, column here so the, sorry the column would be 2 so this is the first column this is the second column so the cell name here would be a 3 2 so basically if I just write over here cell oh sorry cell sorry cell 3 comma 2 so if I actually pull this data so this data should pull and give me a name Aman over here right so this is what I'm trying to do here. I'm actually storing this set of data into this new array. So once I have this new array, what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to activate my output uh, sheet over here because I have to now paste the data. So I'll just say activate Oh, sorry. I can just copy paste from here, right? So I can come back here and activate the output and I am going to paste it from range A1. <coughs> Sorry. Right. And I can activate this thing. Right. So what I am doing now is I am actually uh, telling Excel to move to the next sheet called output and select a1 cell right so once i'm done with uh, uh, with this task what i'm going to do is i'm going to call these new location with a new number so i'll create let's say let's say new m and new n as integer so what i'm going to do now is uh, for each or oh, instead i can say just new m equals 1 to m for new n 1 to n I want uh, that cell new m comma new n should have a value from new array which will have the same new uh, m comma new n location right and that's it so what this particular part is going to do for me is uh, <coughs> so all the data actually now store into new array right so if you remember like initially we store this particular uh, table into array now this is actually a range then we use this range um, to store into new array with cell by cell right here right now we have everything cell by cell store into this particular array now we are going to use this array to paste the value into these cells right but the only issue over here is um, if you know that uh, in an array array starts with zero so here m and n are actually you know containing uh, one extra row one extra column so for that we need to subtract one from here and one from here now if i actually run this particular uh, array okay there's something going on over here oh okay so for new array this is what is going oh so we have to read i mean actually okay we have to uh, read him this particular array and if I actually say here now I think it will work or if I just leave it like that also it will work so now I just run it and I'll see here we have the data over here so the reason what I did right now this read M is uh, actually it's redefining this particular array and this 99 99 is because uh, uh, if you if you look at this set of data it's actually limited before 99 rows and 99 columns so you can actually increase or decrease this set of information it's actually on you how your set of data will look like if it is dynamic then you can always make this dynamic as well right so because I know that my data is actually limited that's why I have kept it as 99.99 so let me take you back uh, from the starting point so 
the plan is to have uh, a array which will store this set of information and paste that into uh, you know output set, output sheet so how we are going to do it is uh, we want to first store this information into an array and uh, that array we are going to use to actually paste over here so how we have done the coding is like we have created two variants over here and uh, first we are actually storing the uh, final table into this particular variant and then we are actually calculating from this variant what is the highest number of rows and columns once we have this information from here we are actually redefining uh, the new array where we know that this is the limitation um, you, because we already have the data with us and then what I'm going to do is like out of this particular range I'm dividing that into in terms of cells so from 1 to i that means from first uh, row to the last row I'm actually putting uh, these range values in cells and in terms of new array into into this new array so once we have this data with us what what we are going to do th that means that you know excel has stored this range into a array so now this array we are going to use and paste that into output sheet so i have activated the output sheet and then the range from where i want to paste it now since these are the new integers which are actually available which we have to create for this particular output sheet so that's why i have created new m and new n as an integer now in this this particular set of coding what we are doing is uh, we are actually calculating uh, and checking the cell um, like the the the, the cell wise array information from this new array and here we are actually pasting this new m and new n the reason being because uh, uh, here uh, our arrows actually include uh, you know zero as well so we have one extra uh, information over here which is not being stored so for example what my point is uh, if you just look at the number of columns over here they're actually seven but if i store these seven uh, you know columns into an array it will start with zero and in our excel we do not have something called zero zero it always start with one and one right you can say oh, over here one this is actually one so if i were to call this serial number by cell I will call it like you know cell or like cell one and one we do not have something called cell zero zero we do not have something like that but in array it has this information as well and that is the reason I want to exclude that that's why I have you know subtracted one from M and one from N right so let's click on this button let me delete okay I have already deleted the the values from output if I click on this button it should actually work so yeah it is actually working I just clicked on that button and I have this value till 15 we have all these numbers over here so on, on the next video what I'm going to do is uh, uh, it's the further enhancement into this macro so in this uh, in the actually next video what I'm going to do is uh, I'll, I'll actually pick randomly any numbers any actually header over here and uh, I'll actually pull the data for those specific headers only so that is the agenda for the next video uh, okay so this is it i guess for this video thank you so much for your support and love guys uh, if you are actually here for the first time please subscribe to the channel and uh, thank you